gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, just another trip to Trader's Village this weekend. Uh, we found some interesting stuff. Started out uh, in reseller territory. Uh, a lot of it was uh, decent prices, though. Not too overpriced. Uh, $15 there for scribble knots for the DS with the case of manual. Not too bad. Uh, a lot of hardware to be found this trip out. Uh, PSP Go there, PSP in the back for 110 a couple 3DSs, just a bunch of really good hardware that we'll find throughout this walk. Um, iPhones and other stuff are uh, going to show up as well. Ahorita viene todo de regalo, que quiere todas las cosas de regalo. Y un señor vino ahorita que quiere una tableta para hacer esto. Multimeter. Put down. For testing stuff. What? Daddy, I know. Is that a cool chair? Yeah. Thank you. That. We'll find out how much it is. And guess who ended up carrying that chair for the rest of the trip? Now, luckily enough, there were uh, some good toys out for my sons to kind of take a look at. Uh, and also the occasional thing just kind of hiding back here. There's a steering wheel hidden back there along with the controller. There's a V smile peeking out under the table. So I knew that there was some good stuff around. Yes, because Batman wears his symbol right next to his bed. <laughs> Who's that guy? Oh, it's Ben 10? Yeah. Why did they put the Hulk as the smallest one? Yeah, Ben 10's bigger than the Hulk. Yeah. Interesting. Take your dollar, let's go. No. We already have one though. Yeah. What else did you find? An SP? Battle Arena to Shinden in Kingsfield. And a bunch of sports titles. That makes me sad though. <laughs> One of the better booths that uh, we usually frequent is this one here. Now he has all kinds of accessories, weird stuff, uh, usually has some good stuff in the case. Has stuff everything from used loose carts to brand new, uh, still in the box carts. And actually does some nice bundling together of stuff. Por cinco dólares no voy a perder. Please don't do that on the glass. What are the Mario vs. Donkey Kongs? This is 15, brand okay. new. Okay. Yeah, it comes with a booklet also. Pretty good. Tempted to get a significant version of Doom just to have it. Simpson. Simpson, I have a copy of. There's also an NES just sitting there. I saw the NES sitting there, but it was my friend Tanner that pointed out that the mouse to Mario Paint was sitting right next to it. I have this somewhere in my house. That's actually at the that's house, Army Man. Yep, that was one of the first ones that I picked up. I don't know where that went. I can never actually figure out the controls. For what? This. This. 
I have that Army GPS. Man? I don't know where it is. You don't have that. I used to. Huh. Battle Clash fight a Super Scope 6 up called the Wood Mine Oh, dude, if you could find a Super Scope 6. I actually found one that they wanted. Insane Ridiculous? Yeah. yeah. It's only the trading company. They wanted like 70 bucks for it. You know what? Considering I haven't seen one in forever. You need a GameCube power cable? Okay. Two of them sitting there. Next he bought one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the lonely Genesis. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, it's DS tank. That is awesome. I don't need one, but I'm glad to know that they're still around. But yeah. Oh, so the one over there, what it's got is it's got the plugs on the back along with the what was it? Digital audio out? Okay. These Xboxes have been here since I've been coming to Traders Village. I don't know why they won't drop the price on them, but they want $20 for each with no cables. That's just ridiculous. PlayStation 2 online pack. You like this cold London? Nine, nine red racers. Ah, ah, ah. And a bunch of top guns. <laughs> Top Gun and Rad Racer. <laughs> All of these. <laughs> oh, he's cracking me up. I had to get it on film. So I was like, I, apparently somebody just really loved Rad Racer. <laughs> yeah.
kind of cool. Anything good? I'm just looking for my grandson. Well, I've got a nine-year-old and a three-year-old, so... Bahamas pajamas? That is very cool, though. Okay, where are the ones that we were looking at? So the vendors right there. Can I that? No. Can I that one? Sun, Fantasy Star, Kirby Tilt and Tumble. Ask them how much it is. How much are the games? Uh, which one? Uh, let's see. Ten. Ten? Hey, let me tell you the price. So thank you. Yeah, it keeps the interaction going. Matthew, 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 Matthew. Not on the glass, buddy. <laughs> Xbox, Super Nintendo, Wii, Nintendo, Xbox, Wii, 64. Anything interesting in there? Oh! There's a couple of good things. There's lots of stuff in there. Just trying to clear it out so I can get a look in there. Just to quickly show you what we did pick up, I want to take a step back a day uh, in time and we'll just kind of run through these real quick. The Dreamcast. Yes, I know. I know I have a problem. He did a good home, so I brought it home. It's going to be okay, little guy. Mega Man 2. Label kind of chewed up. One dollar. Before we went to Trader's Village, I had to go get milk. There's a garage sale on the way to go get milk. I actually picked up uh, three games. Ultimate Spider-Man for the GameCube. Missing the manual, but don't care. Uh, the Sims busting out for the Xbox. And CSI Crime Scene Investigation for the Xbox. Two dollars each. Uh, first find at Trader's Village was, of course, a Dreamcast controller with a VMU. Yay! The next place we stopped, you might have seen in the video, uh, Bully. These were two dollars as well. Bully, PlayStation 2, and Grand Theft Auto Vice City for the Xbox. This is the game that brought us over to one of the locations. Just because it was red, we could see it. Doom for the Super Nintendo, Mech Warrior, I'm a big Mech Warrior fan, Mario Paint with the mouse. She wanted ten dollars each for these. Got three for twenty-five with the mouse. The last place we stopped at had uh, Nintendo games for a dollar. Grabbed three of them. Destination Earth Star, Tag Team Wrestling, Sky Shark. Tanner also picked up uh, four games while we were out. He picked up four Nintendo games. We have Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Godzilla, Metal Mech, and Ghostbusters 2. Now each of them were five bucks. It was actually his uh, first trip to Trader's Village. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and like it. Uh, subscribe to me if you like what I do. And as always, play on!